How you doing? Do you want me to get someone? I told you to go. Not until I know you're all right. I'm fine. You've been cutting yourself. You're obviously hiding something. And it can't just be your dad coming back. Let me help. Whatever's wrong, you need to talk about it. Morning, Erin. This is Tom. He's from the Mental Health Liaison Service. Is it okay for him to have a chat with you? I'll come back in a bit, yeah? Don't bother. If you want to be a hero, go and rescue someone else. Take it the wine tasting went well. I do with one of them. Mm. Nothing's confirmed yet, but I think I might have found a buyer for this place. Really? That's great. Isn't it? Yeah. It's Gordon. Gordon? He offered the other day. Is that a good idea after Aaron turned him down? Oh, no, this would be different. He'd be buying in, we'd be a partnership. I didn't realise you two were that serious. Neither did I, to be honest, but... Well, at least he's not a stranger. Well, you won't find me complaining, as long as you're sure. Might have a bit of trouble convincing Aaron. Yeah, I should go and talk to him. Well, there was no sign of him upstairs. I don't think he came home last night. Right. It's all man, me and you. We're going to give Mummy World as a break, aren't we? But more importantly, we're going to get to know each other. Spend some father-son time together, yeah? Yeah. Hi. Um, I just thought I'd take him out for a bit. That's OK. Of course it is. Thanks. Okay. I know how tough all this has been, but getting the police involved, it wasn't the answer. Yeah, I know, you're right. And, you know, I need to concentrate on us and him. Prove that someone in the family can be a good dad. <sighs> hey, don't worry, all right? I'm letting it go. I hope so. I am. So, basically, what you're saying is Jacob came back from Portugal on his own? Yeah, it just turned up last night, but at least she's going out of her mind. Oh, blimey! How sneaky is that? Well, I thought he liked it out there. Well, he did, yeah, till he realised it's not an actual holiday. You know, he's still got to go to school. He ain't got no proper mates. He's struggling with the lingo. So what happens now? I have to put him back on a plane, I suppose. I'm going to go and see David later once they've time to speak to Alicia. She was too upset last night. Oh, I hope Nikhil's not there to talk about awkward. Well, why is that awkward? Thought you were an item. Yeah, I've been busy, Anna, you know, with all the Jacob stuff. No, that's not what you meant. You know, I knew there was something weird going on because he's not slept over here once. Yes, because he's got Molly to think about. David could babysit. Or Bob and Brenda. You know, I ain't got time for this. I've got to get to work. <laughs> and you're a bit too old to have a fake boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Cheers, mate. Is it Mum again? Yeah. You know you can't stay here, don't you? Why not? We're a good team. She needs you. She's really upset. I know. And I'm sorry. But she's the one that wanted to live there. Yeah. What about your dad? What about him? Well, he might want you to live with him. He's miles away. Didn't you miss me? Yes, of course I missed you. So, I could help out here and go back to my old school. Plus, there's more people to look after me. Grandad, Auntie Layla. You've got all this worked out, haven't you? Please, David. Jake, can you make sure you keep your stuff tidy? I nearly broke my ankle tripping over your bag. Sorry, it's dangerous. All right, he said sorry. <laughs> he hasn't changed, then. <laughs> no, not one bit. But he's right about your stuff. He wouldn't be there if I unpacked properly. Go inside and tidy it up. Well, I call your mum and sort out the real mess you've made. Hmm. I should be making traps. You OK? You seem a bit on edge. Oh, the bishop's coming over to discuss my illness. How are we going to manage it, that kind of thing? Well, you should have said I'll take the day off. I'll come with you. Oh, no, no, I'll be fine. It's only an informal chat. Okay. Oh, um, will you be home in time to let Graham in? He's servicing the boiler. Sandy's not around. Oh. All in hand. Brilliant. Uh, are you supposed to be at the shop? No. My dad asked me to cover for a bit. Come on, then. Spill. No, can't. 
Oh, do you think it's true love? Hey, bet you're glad she's a wedding planner. Saved you a fortune. I think it's a little bit early for all that. <laughs> She's just joking. It's just a silly joke. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> Look, Nick Hill told Jay that we were seeing each other, so we back off. And well, now he's forgotten that we're pretending and he's asking me out for real. Right, so where's he taking you? Nowhere. I said no. How come? Cos he's Nick Hill. You don't know him. It's just... not my type. Successful. Good-looking. Rich. Single. Yeah, but he's... <sighs> I get it. Rebound time. Oh, no. He said if I was bothered about that, he wouldn't mind waiting. So. <laughs> Sounds like a decent bloke to me. Yeah, loads better than Jay. But seriously, all you ever were to him was a dirty little secret he had to keep hidden away. Now, when did he ever take you out or make you feel special? Right, OK, I get the point, thank you. Be stupid to let me go, go. It's Chazzy. Through the back, worrying herself sick. Over nothing, if you ask me. You heard from Aaron? Not for a couple of days, no. He's a 20-odd-year-old lad. He's bound to stop out now and again. Will you keep out of it? But he has got a point, though. Maybe he's met someone. Well, he's taken an awful lot of stuff with him for a one-night stand, including his passport. Oh, I'm sorry. You should have said. We'll give you some space. Victoria. I think he's done a bunk. But why would he? His business is here, his friends are here. Because of me and Gordon. Chaz, I know he's not happy about it, but running away is a bit much, especially over something like this. And where would he go? Fine, if you don't believe me. No, no, no. I didn't say that. I'll go and have a look for him. I don't think he'll have gone far. Thank you. And you're probably right. I'm probably being daft. Yeah. Must be where he gets it from. I'll give you a call if I hear anything. There you go. Oh, sorry. My dad's only just got back from the cash and carry. Right, no worries, you're here now. But I will have to leave you with it. I've got loads of stuff to sort out with Jake. Yeah, it's no problem. I was just telling them about my date with Duncan. Yeah, endlessly. I was just about to try and top myself with a toothpick. <laughs> you're not funny. Mm. Good luck with her. Don't you have to talk to Jake about? So, he's a wine rep, so proper classy. Glorified door-to-door -door salesman, more like. Uh, he's buying me dinner at the b, &B. Ooh, proper classy. Excuse me, it is actually. Except we don't open at dinner time, do we? Oh, come on, Finn. You have to. It'll only be me and him. Fine, but you owe me. Mm. And I need you on top form. He knows I work there, but you need to make out that I'm your boss. Uh, no chance. I do the same for you. He's not going to be bothered about your job. He just thinks he's on a promise. Payback for the wine. Which I had nothing to do with. Mm, you are sounding a tiny bit jealous. Mm. Please, just welcome to him. <laughs> Adam, you all right? Um, sorry. Listen, uh, I wanted to say sorry about the other day. Oh, no, don't worry about it, mate. Wouldn't want to get in the way now, would I? Listen, we should do stuff together. Let's hang out, the three of us, if you've got time. I thought you said I wasn't allowed to see him. I know, but I was being stupid and selfish. Of course you should see him. I want you to. Gone. You can't let him go. Of course not. He's seriously ill. What's he playing at? They're in an order for a reason. D comes before F. Yes. The alphabet works, but I put it in date order so we could prioritize the workload. Right, well, you, you need to find a better system. I need to know where things are. Right. What on earth is wrong with you? She's good at her job, so leave her to do it. Right, I'm sorry. It's Laurel who needs the apology. After? After you've told me what's going on. I asked Layla out. Again? Didn't that happen two weeks ago? I made it up. Yeah, we've, uh, we've been pretending to stop Jay sniffing around. She wanted to put him off and we thought it'd be the easiest way. She's more trouble than she's worth. That's what I thought at first. Marriage wrecker. Out for what she could get and to hell with anybody who got hurt. 
There is more to her than that. I take it she turned you down. Well, that's her loss. I really like her. You'll find someone else. Someone less complicated. I don't want less complicated. I want Layla. What's the matter, bud? I thought you'd be starving by now. Look, just set him up straight. He prefers it that way. She's easier like this. Yeah, of course. Well, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. No, I'm glad you came. I think he is and all. <laughs> hey, result. Have I missed something? No, I just thought it'd be better for Johnny and for all of us if Adam could still see him. You look like a pro with that bottle. What do you think? All I need to do now is master the nappies. <laughs> oh, you'll get plenty of practice. What, do you give it till the next one? Ten minutes? Yeah, something like that. Yeah? Well, in that case, I think we'll let Uncle Adam have a little cuddle, yeah? <laughs> Sorry. No, no, it's fine. Look, I should just leave you to it. No, don't go on my account. Fly and visit. And you've checked the scrapyard. And there's no sign of Adam, either. Oh, no. He just said if they were going somewhere together. Vic, is she on about Aaron? Has anyone seen him? I don't think so. Did you talk to him? Yeah, kind of. Well, what does that mean? I haven't got time. I need to find him. Why? Are you two back together? I'll tell you later. Hang on. I'll call you back. What's going on? Do you know anything about Aaron not coming home last night? Why would I? He was just asking if we knew where he was. And why would you even be looking? I, I promised I wouldn't tell you. Well, you better. Yeah, I was with him last night. You are joking me. You and him. It wasn't planned. I don't want you anywhere near him. Look, can you just give me a call if Aaron shows up? No hope in hell! Ashley! Have you seen Aaron? Ashley! Sorry, can it wait? Only I'm already late for the gas man. What are you doing? This isn't your house. Yes, I, I know, I know. I'm not completely doolally. Sleeping like a... Well, I'd say baby, but with the noises he makes, more like a warthog. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, Adam. I think we should go for a pint later. Reckon we burned it. Uh, thanks, but I'm gonna give it a miss. Why? We're cool, though, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, uh Well, you were right. You know, it's probably easier for everyone if I just stay clear. No. Look, if it's about what I said yesterday, honestly, I... I really am sorry. Nah, nah. It's, it's just too confusing, you know? You said it yourself. Yeah, but it doesn't have to be. I mean, he knows who you are. Yeah, I don't mean just for him, though. But you could still be a part of his life. It's... <sighs> Kevin, he needs to know who his dad is. Well, thanks, yeah, for everything. For letting me see him today, I appreciate it, but, uh, Well, it's just... It's just too hard, you know? Knowing that he's not mine. But, hey, you're gonna do great, you know that? Yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah, trust me. You'll get there. <sighs> hey, you know, being a dad, it's, uh... It's pretty special, mate. So treasure him. Yeah, he deserves that. He's precious. Aaron! I know you're in there. Fine. I'll go and find Kane, see if he's got a key. to go back to the hospital. You nearly died. You still could by the look of you. 
so. You don't mean that. What do you know? People care about you. Your mum's worried sick. You told her? No. no I wouldn't do that. Not after I promised. But I can't leave you like this. Running away is not going to solve anything. Please, let me help. Why would you? Because if you carry on like this, you're going to end up dead. I, I couldn't bear that. I know where's the hustle. Don't say that. It's the truth. You are to me. Because I still love you. Bit of a come down, innit? From World Explorer to Shop Boy, as my favourite <laughs> frequent flyer. Brilliant. Oh, when you're modest. Me and Alicia have had a long chat. I'm staying. Really? Well, he's not doing very well at school. His grades are going backwards. Mm. It's not like you, that, is it? Everything was so different. We've got a few details to finalise, but um, he can go back and visit in the holidays. I'll start back at my old school tomorrow. I want to make you all proud of me. Oh, we already are proud of you, and it sounds to me like you have made a very mature decision. And you can come and stay with me. I won't make you miss Skivvy. Well, I like working here. And when am I going to sleep at yours? On the sofa? We figured something out, wouldn't we? I mean, it must be pretty packed here with Nicola and Molly. I've got my old room back. You don't mind, do you? No, of course not. I was just saying, so. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, no. Perk of the job, eh? Working for a thing of beauty. <laughs> I'm wasted on him. And get the wine pod. Clearing the plates, boss. <sighs> He's still quite new. We like to do our bit, you know, give people a chance. Even them that struggle with the learning. You've got a good heart. I can always tell. Oh. Why don't we take the rest of this somewhere cosier? Get to know each other properly. We haven't had pudding yet. Well, I've never been the patient type. Yeah, me neither. Oi! Dessert menus. I was hoping for a different type of afters. <laughs> don't pretend to be coy. The only afters on offer is sticky toffee. Right, there's plenty of cheesecake. Where are the loose? Uh, up your stairs, straight down. Well, I'm not saying you can't have cheesecake another time. Just not the first time. That's all right, isn't it? You can't blame a chap for trying. Sticky toffee it is. At least let me call Dr. Bailey. I'm sorry. Last thing I wanted to do was upset you. You haven't. Because I don't believe you. It's taken me a long time to come to terms with it. I so thought it wasn't that special. You said I wasn't the only one. And you're only with me out of pity. And I wish I'd never said all that. Well, you did. Do you really hate yourself that much? What happened to you? Aaron, you need to call me. And stay away from Robert. Anything. You know, Robert really does care about him. I know he's your brother, Vic, but he's bad news when it comes to Aaron. You can't stop them being together if that's what they want. I'll give it a damn good go, because I am not having my boy getting hurt again. Well, you never know. They're not sneaking around. They might actually be happy. Why don't you just leave it? 
Good advice. They are both adults. I don't care. Let's just keep it calm. Do you know what? You're a hypocrite. Because you expect Aaron to accept you getting back with his dad, but then you want to dictate who he can see. I won't tell you again. She is right. Difference being, unlike Robert, Gordon doesn't destroy people's lives. You have to stop punishing yourself. You don't know anything about her. So tell me. What, what did your dad do to you? You can trust me, Aaron. It, it won't go any further. Please. Nothing's worth this much pain. You hurt me. He, he hurt you? What do you mean? He, he hit you? He, he beat you? Just leave me alone. I shouldn't have said anything. Man, staying quiet just means he's won. Is that what you want? No. I want to forget it ever happened. Don't. Don't. Whatever it was... What you've been talking about is going to help. He raped me.